Hello everyone, welcome to Mechanics of Fluids Tutorials and in this video lecture I am going to explain about what do you mean by a stream function and what are its properties. So first we try to know what is a stream function. Uh, so stream function it is also a scalar quantity as we have discussed about the velocity potential function. So it is also a scalar function, scalar function of space space coordinates and time okay but it is only defined for it is but it is only defined sorry defined for two dimensional flow so it is applicable to only two dimensional flow okay so it is a scalar function which is of uh, space and time and it is only defined for two dimensional flow so mathematically we can represent the stream function as psi is equal to function of that is f of x comma y comma t only two coordinates we need to consider as it is a two dimensional flow and uh, the representation of uh, stream function is like this and uh, this is used for finding the velocity components again for a given fluid flow so how we can uh, write the velocity components with the help of this stream function means uh, its uh, derivative its derivative with respect to the any particular direction will give us the velocity right angle to that direction so what is the statement we can give for getting the velocity with the help of this stream function means its derivative its derivative with respect to any direction with respect to any direction gives the velocity the velocity at right angle to that direction at right angle to that direction so right angle to that direction means here so whatever the uh, derivation with respect to any particular direction we are taking uh, that uh, derivation that means differentiation will give us the velocity at perpendicular to the direction we are considering so it can be written as dou psi by dou x if you take the differentiation with respect to x then we'll get the velocity perpendicular to the x direction so velocity perpendicular to the x direction means it is of v and similarly if you take dou psi by dou y uh, here we'll get the velocity perpendicular to the y direction which is of u but here we'll be getting negative sign of u okay so opposite direction will get the velocity so that is the representation of uh, velocity components in terms of stream function dou psi by dou x is equal to v and dou psi by dou y is equal to u for writing these two we need to remember that uh, the derivative with respect to any direction gives the velocity at right angle to that direction so this statement we need to remember then we will write we can write these two equations okay similarly these velocity components can be written in cylindrical polar coordinates also so we try to write velocity components velocity components velocity components in polar coordinates in polar coordinates in terms of what we need to write here uh, well stream function so how we can write means here uh, initially we'll take radial velocity ur this radial velocity can be written as 1 by r into do psi by do theta so right angle to the direction uh, ur we should get the velocity so when you consider 1 by r do psi by do theta we'll be getting the radial velocity similarly if you want to get do theta sorry u theta that uh, tangential velocity then we'll be getting negative sign of dou psi by dou r so it will become opposite when you compare with the velocity potential function while writing the velocity components okay these are the two equations we can write in terms of uh, stream function for radial velocity and tangential velocity when you consider the polar coordinates okay these are the representation for velocity components in terms of uh, stream function again we can uh, get the properties two properties uh, uh, related to the stream function so again for getting the properties we need to consider 
continuity equation so we are considering continuity equation for incompressible incompressible steady flow so when you consider incompressible steady flow for two dimensional flow here we can write the continuity equation as dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y is equal to zero and now we try to substitute uv uh, 2d two dimensional coordinates that is in terms of x y we try to substitute here so dou by dou x of in place of u will get minus dou psi by dou y opposite to that direction that means a right angle to that direction x and similarly dou by dou y of v means we can write dou psi by dou x and that is equal to zero so when you take inside minus dou square psi by dou x dou y plus dou square psi by dou y dou x that is equal to zero here uh, when you consider the stream function as a continuity function then this dou x dou y and dou y dou x will be equal so both terms becomes equal so negative term positive term gets cancelled so finally we will get as zero only so by this uh, we can directly say that if the uh, fluid flow is having a stream function means that fluid becomes that fluid flow becomes itself incompressible and steady flow if if uh, if having the stream function itself it will confirm that the flow is incompressible and steady flow so one property we can write it as if the stream function if the stream function if the stream function exists for any particular fluid flow then the flow can be then the flow can be incompressible steady flow incompressible incompressible steady flow and here it is incompressible and steady flow but it may be rotational or irrotational flow so again we need to confirm that either it may be rotational or irrotational if it is not uh, irrotational so what is the condition uh, by which we can uh, get the irrotational flow uh, that property we need to uh, define here so for defining that we need to consider the rotational component so rotational component rotational component of velocity so here it is a two dimensional flow so we need to consider the term uh, rotational component related to x and y so in omega z we can get x and y that is a 1 by 2 of before z it is y so dou v and after that it is x so dou x minus here it is dou x means here dou u and here it is dou v means here dou y so this is the equation in which we will get u and v only velocities in x and y direction and here we need to substitute u v equations so dou by dou x of v means we need to write dou psi by dou x minus dou by dou y of u means minus dou psi by dou y bracket close so finally we'll get 1 by 2 of dou square psi by dou x square minus minus becomes positive plus dou square psi by dou y square okay this is the equation we got okay uh, there is no particular condition we are getting but when you consider if omega z is equal to 0 then the flow can be rotational then the flow can be irrotational so that means rotational component is becoming equal to sorry rotational irrotational the rotational component is becoming equal to zero means it can become irrotational flow so for making omega z is equal to zero so by writing omega z is equal to zero we can uh, write it as dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square is equal to zero which is here called as a laplace equation okay if any given fluid flow satisfies this laplace equation automatically 
the omega z that is the rotational component becomes equal to zero so then we can say that the flow is rotational so here what is the condition here if the laplace equation is uh, if the fluid flow is satisfying the laplace equation then the flow becomes irrotational flow so that is the next property we can define so the second property is what here if the laplace or if the fluid flow if the fluid flow satisfies if the fluid flow satisfies laplace equation that is obtained from rotational component laplace equation then the flow can be then the flow can be irrotational flow can be irrotational flow okay these are the two properties we can derive for the stream function uh, what is the first property the first property uh, defines that uh, if the stream function exists, if the stream function itself exists for a given fluid flow, then the flow is a incompressible is an incompressible and steady flow. And similarly, if the fluid flow, uh, given fluid flow, that stream function it is having a stream function, and that stream function is satisfying this Laplace equation, then the flow can be irrotational flow. Okay, that is about the stream function and the properties of stream function. Okay, so if uh, I hope you understood uh, this uh, uh, derivation part and if you still have any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video and once again thanks for watching my video thank you all